Hey everyone. Are you ready to play? Because I'm ready to play. <laughs> Did my serious videos for today. I'm ready to play. So I just mixed up some Payne's Gray and I put a tiny little bit of gunmetal metallic in there. It's kind of a black blue, blue black. It's an absolutely gorgeous color. I've never used it before so I wanted to try it. And then I took some of my background white and I put some iridescent medium in there. It's a little on the thick side, but I want it on the thick side because I'm going to pull yarn. So we're going to have yarn meeting the canvas today. So I'm going to make a mess. I've got this on my banding wheel. I put paper towels down so the canvas didn't slide. So I thought, well, let's just make a mess. I better get some gloves on because I'm really going to make a mess. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to put string on and pull it and swirl it around. If I don't like it, we'll scrape it. It's not a big deal. Right? Experimentation at its finest. So I definitely want to cover that well. It's kind of cool. You can see the metallic in it already. I want to over that just pretty good. So I went out of breath because I was stirring so fast. <laughs> okay, that looks good and covered. Yeah, it's going to be an issue with the paper towels just while we're filming though because it'll get moved as soon as I'm done. It'll keep it on the banding wheel. All right, I'm good. I want to be able to spin it so I can do them different ways. Gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You can't see it. The camera doesn't do it justice. It looks maybe blue on the camera, so. But it's more metallic-y. All right, let me torch it and get some bubbles out real quick. Trying to start my paper towels on fire. <laughs> Okay, so I just went out and grabbed the skinny yarn that I had upstairs, and I'm just going to cut long pieces. And I'm going to put them in that iridescent white. And I'm not going to stir it because if you stir it, it gets tangled, and I think it might have already got a little tangled. I have string, but I didn't think it was long enough. My husband wanted me to dry one with clothesline. And I was like, Alan, that would be, I'd have to use a big canvas for that. Okay, so. I'm gonna leave that right on there. And go ahead and cut another one. something different to do when you want to take a break from pouring or swiping or I'm not a swiper I saw some um, beautiful paintings with swipes this week though on YouTube that I might want to try okay so this one's going to go here All right, so I'm going to have to pull these two because I can't put any more on. You know what? 
guys, I really like that. I don't know if I want to put any more on it. Because <laughs> I could hang it like that. What do you think? Leave it alone? Or should I pull one this way? Let's pull one that way. I know you're probably yelling, No, don't touch it! <laughs> leave it alone I didn't want flowers um, like I did on the purple ones I wanted more abstract design silicone in any of this so I'm gonna get the air bubbles out all right guys what do you think leave it or bring one this way I think I'm gonna leave it and hang it this way so that was short and sweet <laughs> So I have, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below. Click on the bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. And also check out my Etsy store, Christina Welch Art. And uh, I have paintings, jewelry, and hand-painted beads there. And there'll be a lot more paintings coming very, very soon. We're still working on them, but we're going to get them up there. So thanks for joining me. Have a great artful day. Bye.